Hi everybody. Uh, just wanted to show you a project that we've been working on for the past few months. We finally got it to a pretty decent level of completion. Um, so I want to show you our wattle fence and our wattle gate that we made around, around the herbal tea garden, my herb garden right here, um, in order to keep the chickens and the geese out of there and it ended up turning out really well and it add, added a lot of uniqueness to the look of our house and the herb garden as well. In order to make your wattle fence, you essentially you're going to have your posts and then you're going to have your branches that you're going to weave through your posts. The way I did ours, I didn't follow the traditional wattle technique. Um, I more so went out, I cut down a lot of brush from our woods. I cut down maybe small trees that really didn't have a chance to grow underneath bigger trees. I used what we had um, and then took those different size um, branches or small trees and I weaved them through where I found a good spot for them. And what you're gonna do is you're going to pound your posts in for your posts, I used anywhere between an inch in diameter um, upwards to maybe four inches in diameter for like near the gate. Um, I didn't go any bigger than an inch in diameter for my wattle um, branches because that would be very difficult to weave in between your posts. And then you were gonna start weaving through all your different posts with whatever length branches or trees you decide to use. Um, for the tops, I liked to stick with something bigger as like a defining branch to weave. Um, and you basically just start it at one post, weave it to the front of another, weave it to the back of the next, and then so on and so forth for however long your branch or tree is. That is the pattern I followed for the whole entire wattle fence. Um, you can make it as rustic or as perfect as you want to make it for whatever your garden is like. For us, the very rustic look worked with the rock wall that I did below it and the wood chips that are behind it. Um, it cost us nothing except for time and the cost of the hardware to make the gate. Other than that, there was no money involved. It took a couple weeks though to fully complete what we have here. The gate was the hardest part, um, but other than that, once you get your posts in, doing the weave is goes pretty fast. It is fun. I, I really enjoyed it. it and it came out looking very unique, very creative, and effective for keeping the chickens and the geese out of the herb garden. Alright, so that about wraps it up. Hopefully uh, this wattle fence journey inspires you to maybe give it a try on your property. Maybe there's even just a tree or a bush you want to put a fence around to keep some animals off. You could put a wattle fence as simple as that. So hopefully this inspired you a bit and thank you so much. Bye bye.